Next game, Eagles, Buccaneers, 1 o'clock. Tampa Bay, Philadelphia is minus 3, totals 44. Money's on the Buccaneers right now, though we haven't seen that reflected in the line movement just yet. But if you like the Birds to get the job done, I really think this line is going to move toward the Buccaneers. Look for the Birds to lay at least 2.5 at some shops during the week. And if you like the Bucks to cover in this one, you're kind of in no man's land right now. You know the Eagles are a great team, but you're just not sure where this line is going to move. That said, though, I don't think we'll see this one get much lower than 2.5 and, and much higher than 3.5. Betting trends aside, though, should be a beautiful day on the Florida Gulf Coast. 80 degrees and mostly sunny by kickoff. 9 mile an hour wind toward the western boundary. And in all actuality, I don't think this one's as tough to pick as people are giving it credit for. The big X factor is obviously the play of Nick Foles. Not spectacular in week one, but you know exactly what you're going to get with Foles. Game management and minimal mistakes. Now look for Philadelphia to spread it around both on the ground and in the air with their trio of running backs. Also look for Malcolm Jenkins to step up and run defense on the other side of the ball as well. Now Tampa Bay is going to be known for an air attack after week one, but the X factor will be the run support when they keep it on the ground. The birds have to shut them down on the ground. They normally do. Now when it comes to the numbers, this Philly team is 4-1 ATS in their last five games, 16-2 and two straight up in their last 18. They've also been very good on the road in recent seasons. 5-2 and two ATS last seven away from home, 6-1 and one straight up in that very same category. Meanwhile, on the Tampa side of things, they tend to struggle with this Philadelphia organization. Just 2-4 and four ATS in their last six at home versus Philly. Tampa's also dropped four of six straight up in their last six at home as well. Now, total-wise, I can't see Fitzpatrick carving up this Eagles D like he did last week. Furthermore, recent games in Tampa tend to stay under. Five out of Tampa's last six at home stayed under the total. Meanwhile, four out of Philly's last six stayed under the total as well. So with all those elements in mind, I really like the birds to get the job done here. I'm going to lean toward the Philadelphia Eagles minus three in the under. 44 points in this one. Next game, Lions 49ers. That's 405 San Francisco. And before we get into the numbers, we got a ton of injuries on both squads. Now Stafford's banged up a little bit for the Lions. He's probable. Blunt's banged up with a knee injury. Uh, knee injury. He's questionable for Sunday. Uh, Sunday. And Ziggy Ansah is hurt with a shoulder. And he's questionable.